Hi, I am Rashmi from Justute. So, and today we are going to learn about moor in combustion. In this lesson, we have two topics to cover. The first is types of combustion, and the second is flame. Before completing any one of these, we have a pre-assessment. Question one says, "What is combustion?" So, as we have studied earlier, that a combustion is a process in which a substance get burnt due to the presence of heat and oxygen question 2 name one inflammable substance so we should know first what is inflammable substance a substance which catches fire easily or in a short time for example a paper name one fire extinguisher a fire extinguisher is a substance or a matter that helps to control fire for example water let's proceed and we have types of combustion there are two types of combustion spontaneous and rapid a rapid combustion is a combustion in which the substance burns rapidly the meaning of rapidly is a good rate or with a good speed so a combustion that that has the burning capacity of a good rate here in the rapid combustion we have two byproduct or the secondary product that calls heat and light here we have one example that burning of a matchstick so we all have witness with this process in which we have heat and light as a secondary product spontaneous combustion is a combustion process in which a material catches fire is instantly or suddenly without any external cause it is a sudden impulse so this is the difference between rapid and spontaneous combustion spontaneous is sudden or an instant combustion burning of a coal mi mines due to spontaneous combustion of coal moving further we have some more uh, properties of spontaneous combustion forest fire also happen due to spontaneous combustion because of excess heat or lighting lightning in a spontaneous combustion self heating occurs which raises the temperature of substance immediately so as we have learned on the previous slide that that this combustion is sudden or instant so most of the time it occurs due to of self heating when the temperature increase there are more chances of spontaneous combustion heat light and sound are released instantly along with gas when firecrackers are burnt such a reaction is called explosion so in a combustion with heat light and sound one gas also released there is an example crackers are burnt so that is an example of spontaneous combustion and also it called an explosion proceed further with the next topic which is flame so it is generated by fire and as the name suggests a flame is the flame of a candle the flame of a burner and the flame of a camper so every object has a different flame and it's generated by fire so material like camper candle kerosene stove form a flame when they are burnt or lighted you can notice we have three different pictures of three different object with three different flames here we have few more thing about flames that the substance which vaporize during burning gives rise to flame so if you talk about the example of camphor when we burn it it vaporize during burning and give rise to the flame so as as soon as it vaporizes it gets started burning and give us 
gives the rise to the flame. Kerosene oil and molten wax, when burnt, vaporize and rise through the wick and form flames. Charcoal does not form flame because it does not vaporize. You can see the two examples where this kerosene oil, so as soon as it get decrease, the flame will start rise. Alright, so we have done with the topic here and we have some practice questions based on the objective we have covered. The first question says what are the type of combustion and the second is what is an explosion, define flame, explain how a flame is created. So these are the four questions which we have to complete and if you find any difficulty in completing any one of these questions you can get back to the video and learn the topic one more time. Thank you for watching. For more please visit justtutors.com.